Hey YouTube family, this is Josh Flips Finds and Fun. I am a part-time eBay reseller. And if you jumped on this video, thank you so much. I would love it if you're new to it to subscribe. Give this video a like. I'm going to quickly cover what I am after seven days of my 14-day challenge of not going and buying stuff, but just listing stuff to sell. Um, so in this video, we're going to first cover my fun Father's Day, and then we'll get right into it. Yeah, no, that was a little bit of fun outside, but now we're gonna head inside. Maybe I'll do that like time warp jump for Father's Day. It's this new little gift I got, so let's try it out. There we go. Man, I think worked pretty good, if I do say so myself. So as you saw there, I did have a great Father's Day. Um, that was just in my backyard, having some fun. And uh, that's part of my channel name, Flips, Finds, and Fun. And as if you're catching up before 14-day challenge, we're on uh, fin wrapping up the first week. Um, I will be uh, finishing this up um, as far as how I'm tracking it. This upcoming Saturday will be my first day back out sourcing. So... I'll be tracking the next uh, five days. Yeah, I'm cutting it like a day short because um, I do miss sourcing and I'm not holding this to some crazy standard. It's just more so so I can track how this is gone. Um, and if I wanted to catch you up with that, the 14 days is just honestly, it was called my money in versus money out. All right. Pay attention to what you had money go out for, which I will cover that quickly, but um, just also capitalize and focus better on how to do better money coming in, not just grand total, maybe better um, price per item, shipping processes, I don't know, just taking the time to list things better. I'm going to cover uh, quite a bit, I'm going to do it quickly, um, but just wanted to update you all, uh, friends and family, just with how this week has gone so far. Oh, so the first thing I did want to cover with you, yeah, didn't really source how many times that I probably check the apps that I use. Uh, I didn't go into any thrift stores. Um, I did have a grand total of about $80 go out. And what that $80 went out for was actually shipping, uh, shipping products. Um, I ordered some um, new boxes directly off of eBay. Uh, I had run out. I ran out of shoe boxes. I'm still waiting on a, a few from the USPS shoe boxes to come in. I found some replacement ones. I used uh, my my little eBay coupon to actually get some. That worked out pretty good. But part of taking this time off was for me to focus. I'm looking at uh, my display rack now that actually holds all my shipping stuff. And I, I actually needed to just tidy up on what I had. It really paid attention. And what I spent on shipping supplies is what I probably would have spent in one day um, going to maybe two Goodwills. So 
very good to just take a moment and look back over that stuff. Um, I know it's the thing you've all been waiting for. What were the sales? Um, sales, not my best week. But I want to explain the breakdown to you because I am pretty excited for that. Because there's probably another big thing that you guys would want to know is what, how, how did listing go? What else did I get to do? Um, my total sales, uh, eBay sales, from Monday till um, it's Sunday night, right here on Father's Day, I had $539. Um, I have been seeing my weekly sales above 1000 um, but there's another pretty cool number. So we're just going to round up to 540, okay? 540 in sales. And it wasn't all brand new listed stuff either. Uh, I definitely had a, a few new items that sold quickly the next day. But out of $540, here's the fun one to look at because I've been working on this um, over the last couple of weeks, but really focused in this week. Um, if you guys remember, I did a yard sale last Saturday. Um, I kind of, that was my first day to really kick this off to go, all right, let's get rid of these, um, low profit, uh, margin items. Um, you know, sometimes those are good to bulk together and stuff, but we did the yard sale just to get it moving. So $540 in total sales after shipping and fees. Um, I was able to pull in $380 of profit on 540 bucks. That was off of... We're going to do the quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 items. So you quickly divide what your profit is, um, divide it by the amount of items. That gives me $19.95 per item. So I made $19.95 profit on average per item in the week. So if I'm doing that kind of math, my my Number one, I first got into reselling, I was kind of selling and listing anything and everything, which is great to do. It's good to get some good feedback, to get items to sell quickly. Um, but I was probably only making about $9 per item. So this is something I have been working on and tackling. Um, and you can still sell low items or quick sell items. They do work great. But compensate in your store for some item, items that are going to bring you 30 40 50 60 70 dollars in profit per item. It, it, when you look at your overall averages, you'll be really pleased with that because uh, I looked at this and said, man, if I could have got ahead of the game um, and listed more things in the past couple weeks for the amount of stuff that I have uh, in my inventory, that would have been incredible. But like I said, uh, I think I'll have a, a really good number to show you guys next week once I tell you how much I did get listed and some of the exciting um, sales that I already kind of I feel like are going to come down the pipeline next week. But now I'm going to get into the next thing, and that is listing. So, yes, some of you, um, if you watch my other videos or I've chatted uh, with a few people online, I did a live Friday night. I uh, uh, have a lot of friends and family on here on Instagram. Um, I've been working on lists. I know I did bad. If you follow me on Instagram, I wanted to do to get better at these, um, you know, not making excuses. I had a busy weekend. I had the honor of um, doing the wedding. Uh, I'm a full-time pastor, so I got to do the wedding for my niece, um, my my first niece, which was so cool, so much fun. Um, but with while with that being said, I got to do a wedding, uh, so that took up my Friday night, a lot of my Saturday, um, and I do work a full-time job. I was still able. And I'm forecasting I'm going to list eight more items tonight. I was going for a hundred this week. Um, and it, it kind of showed me how much work goes into this. Uh, I was able to get 72 items listed this week. Um, and out of the 19 that sold, only eight of those were uh, out of the 72 that I listed. The bulk of the listings were done on Thursday evening. I've um, got a few more done Friday, did a few more uh, Saturday night, and then tonight, just because I like a good round number, I'm going to get eight more done tonight just to make it 80. Um, what has been encouraging is not every watcher is going to be a sale, but my items being watched that I can uh, send out best offers, which I do. I send out offers. Um, it's a great little tactic to do. If you're like, well, I don't want to send out an offer. I don't want to lose money. 
list your item for three or four more dollars so you can send them a reduced price of 15%, whatever you want to do. But I was able to send out some offers. What I've been doing is kind of banking that up for the weekend. Uh, I think come Monday through Friday and kind of how it falls for people on pay cycles and things like that. Uh, I do consider those things sometimes. Um, I think I'm going to have a killer week next week. And once again, I'm keeping in the back of my mind, I got a lot listed, a lot of good items listed because they were sitting in my inventory. Great money. I, I'm not joking. Uh, I got a couple hundred dollar electronic items I just listed. I have some hundred dollar pairs of shoes that I listed a lot in the 60 to $80 range. Um, some really cool stuff and it was sitting there. Here's the scary part. I tried to list as many shoes as I could. I only cleared out one tote out of eight. And I got 72 items listed. Bruh. Think about your death pile. Think about what you have sitting over there and start to evaluate how much money sitting there. And if you don't feel like it's gonna bring a lot of value, get it out of there. Uh, do a yard sale, take it to a thrift store, do something like that. Um, but that's just kind of covering the sales and listing. Now I wanna share with you some other fun things that I was able to do uh, this week. I was also able to do three other things that I love doing um, and that I sometimes need to get better about. I was able to make goals, literally. Think about um, what what reselling means to me, study a little bit, and just focus in on where I want to go, what I want this to do, what I want it to produce. Um, and that was really fun for me. It started with daily tasks, kind of reminding myself um, what I can do daily, what I can do weekly, what I can do monthly, where do I see this in three months, three years, anything like that. Making goals, I encourage you. Sometimes you get so busy doing the other stuff, you don't get to make goals. Number two, I was able to help others. I love when I have the opportunity to share, to help, to encourage, challenge, help people think things through um, in any way that I can. I, I was just able to do that. Um, I was able to help two uh, fresh wanting to get into the game resellers. I was able to help two um, uh, friends that are resellers that I know right now. I was able to help my sister and brother-in-law with questions that they had. I had more time. Um, and I've heard some of you say this, if you're doing this and you're kind of grinding out really hard, it's hard to help out others. You're not meaning to be mean. It's just really tough. Um, it's something I love doing. And sometimes I didn't have the time to do it. I had the time. I had the patience to do it. Um, that was really good. I was able to help out some of you the the youtube family and friends uh and in fact i'm just gonna name drop them i love the opportunity uh yakov if you guys know yakov hit me up on instagram and said hey man i got a question on some product he was in the thrift store and i just wanted to dial him up and we we just kind of live chatted real quick just to do what i can do i i like to source with him when he went through the store but i was happy to answer some questions and help him out on finding great product i thoroughly enjoyed this, that aspect of it. So that was another fun thing. And then number three, I got to breathe a little bit. Um, you know, if you made it this far in the video, it's because you, you are leaned in and you, you're listening in close. I, I, I don't challenge everybody to do a 14 day challenge, but take time with your family, with your friends, with the other passions and hobbies that you have. Don't forget to do those things. Even if you're thinking about the business that you're doing and, on, uh, and reselling, um, take time to think things through. This kind of goes hand in hand with goals because for me, you know, when you, you guys are resellers, you know it, you want to, you're, you're thinking about the thing you can find. You're thinking about the sale you're going to make. I started to think um, how I wanted this to grow. Um, coming to a lot of realizations, I can't do this on my own, you know. Working out great systems. My wife helps me. Um, she's she's part owner in this business that we do. Uh, yeah, I'm not calling this a hobby anymore. Because uh, a hobby is just something you'll just do. Um, I want this to be a business. I really do. And so I got to really think through and take time and sit back and go, where do I see this going? Um, and I've been praying over things and thinking through things. And there's some really exciting stuff coming down the pipeline. As far as uh, YouTube content, as far as 
uh, sales strategies, listing strategies, and where I do see this going. So I'm excited to share. I'm not going to stop hustling. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep doing stuff. But if I don't have things to show you of what I found, I want to share with you revelations of what I've learned. That's always what I want to do to help, to share, to do whatever I can do. Uh, I will come back with you this week on YouTube to show you a highlight of some of those items that have sold. It, 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 there's some pretty cool ones. Um, I know I'm starting a little bit, but I'm thinking through, I'm like, I'm seeing some, my profit on some 30, 32, 20, 25, 105. That's a good one. Um, so some really good stuff sold. And I do want to share that with you. Just wanted to drop this video to update you on the first seven days on this 14 day journey. I, I cannot wait to go sourcing, but I'm also having a great time clearing out inventory and getting some cash for it. Uh, once again, thanks for hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Turn that little bell on. It's like if this rang, but now this just gets the lint off of uh, clothes before you listen. But um, turn that bell on. I try to put out content at least twice a week. I'm trying to get on a better schedule. We'll be working on more content coming pretty soon. Um, cool ideas I want to unveil once this 14 days uh, are over. But this is Josh. Flips, finds, and fun. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, hit me up on Instagram if you got any questions or I can ever help you out or encourage you. Love being here for you, family. I will see you on the flippity flip.